I'm going to assume that this is a fireplace. Just because of the shape of the flue and its location, the masonry is cracked. And you could see that this is um, absorbing water, wicking moisture, salt deposits, efflorescence, a chunk of masonry now being popped off. And efflorescence and moisture and masonry and cracking and wicking and osmosis are all connected together. We have a moisture course at natchi.org forward slash moisture course. If you become a, a certified moisture inspector. The white stuff, that's efflorescence. That's salt deposits left behind after the moisture passes through the masonry material and evaporates. When moisture moves through masonry and salt deposits are left behind because of evaporation, that salt deposit concentration causes an imbalance and nature abhors an imbalance. There's a thing called osmosis. It brings in more moisture to dissolve or dilute that salt concentration. And when that moisture moves through the concrete masonry, there's um, pressure involved. That pressure can damage concrete. It's like 3,000 to 5,000 PSI, and that's stronger than concrete itself. Here's a video of wicking. You can see the water just moving on up through the porous material of that stone. And wicking has a theoretical limit of about six miles. We teach you on how to inspect for moisture intrusion. It isn't just for crawl spaces or basements. It could be for a chimney stack as well. And I'm moving my way down to the secondary roof surfaces and I'm following how water, moisture, rain moves.